Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel where I play video games badly. Today we are going to be continuing our platinum playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. A quick note as we're going through this video, if you catch anything that I have done incorrectly or could have done better or just completely missed, please feel free to put it in the description below. I do want these to be as close to a 100% walkthrough as possible. While you're down there, go ahead and put a like on this video. It really helps to push these out into the algorithm and grow the channel. Uh, also, please hit that subscribe button if you want to get notifications of any future videos in this series. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. So let's see, our next one, Cactuar Crush, was in the Corel region. And this one, I think, might be a little challenging. Uh, mostly because I didn't complete them all on normal. Um, because Aerith's damage output is horridly abysmal, but give it a shot, I guess. All we gotta do is get 6,000 points, which is twice what we got on normal mode. Oh, <laughs> 
There we go. Just kill everything and you win. I have no idea how I'm gonna do the Aerith fights though. Because Aerith just can't deal damage. Magic. Lend me your strength. Someone looks like you. Get him. Just a bit. Too much? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Please dodge when I say to dodge. Please dodge when I say to dodge. 
Aerith, can you please, for the love of God, just do some damage? Why are they not doing their body slam? I can't do anything until they do their body slam. I mean, this is just bullshit. All right? I mean, it is just way too RNG. They, you can't do any damage unless they do their body slam. If they don't do their body slam, you can't do anything. What the hell? And Aerith can't do freaking damage to save her soul to begin with. Why is this even a thing? So we figured that since Aerith's having some trouble uh, with Tech Bar Crush, we'd go ahead and maybe get a couple levels here. And what better way to do that than the battle arena? And yeah, we end up, of course, getting Cloud there first because Cloud's in everything. But we did end up grinding out a level 70 character, so we'll just go ahead and finish Aerith the rest of the way off up to level 70 to hopefully make this thing a little bit easier. And then after that, we'll visit a Magnata Books location to get as many of the secondary skills here as we can to just kind of give her some extra buffs or whatever just make her as strong as we can That is not right. I dodged out of that.
Crap, how did I manage to do that? Um, yeah, uh, tips? I don't know. Um, do it a lot. Uh, hope you get lucky. I don't know. Um, when they fall down to and get pressured, use your soul drain. When they're in groups, use your sorceress storm. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I did that. I don't. I honestly don't. I, I, but I did it, so let's move on. Um, I will say, if you're having trouble on this, like I did, um, I looked up a little bit online on some setups for Aerith, and um, Hermes' shoes is really good. It gives her haste, which just fills up her ATB bar faster uh, for her materia. First strike, she starts off with uh, that big ATB boost at the start. So you can do that initial sorceress storm right away. Um, I don't think this worked. I tried it. I I, I don't know. Tr maybe it'll work for you. Maybe you just know how to do it better. Um, uh, speed up increases her speed. Uh, once again, she can move faster. She can her ATB goes up faster. Luck because you just freaking need it. Uh, I don't know if Spirit does anything. ATB stagger. Um, when the Cactuars do fall over on Body Slam, they do get staggered. Um, maybe they just get pressured. But anyway, that would get you another uh, ATB uh, boost when they do stagger. Um, Magic Up just does more damage. Not that that really matters, because most of it's going to be on the affinities. Uh, but first strike, you're definitely going to want. Hermes shoes, you're definitely going to want. Speed, probably. What the hell? Are those fucking bombs?
hit me. Oh, bullshit. How do you go from one right into another? That is horse shit. Even. I love getting hit by random shit that isn't even there. Yay for more random shit. I dodged out of that. Lend me your 
That's all I can say. There was nothing there. I, I'll even go back on the on the replay and show you that there was nothing there. What the hell hit me there, but sure, why not? Once again, hit by nothing. Oh hell, we actually managed to do it. Awesome. All right. I am so freaking done with this. Oh hell. I got one more to do with Aerith. Just shoot me now. All right, I've been doing this way too long. I am way too pissed off. If she doesn't kill do it this time, I'm just This should make you stronger. Dodge, 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 dodge! Just a bit. Okay. That's it! Get him! You'll see! Dodge! There it is! I'll take that. One more shot. You will. Okay. Oh God! The bomb. Oh my god! Can y'all stop throwing bombs at me for two freaking seconds? Nope, guess not! I'm in the middle of a freaking ability! Leave me alone for five f***ing seconds so I can f***ing kill you! I was you get the f out. Ready? Okay. You my God! You go off. Take the time guy right in front of you, please! Get him! 
Yes, please back off a bit. Alright, so that one over there's got mana ward. So we're gonna have to jump out of our ward to do a um, melee attack to dispel it. I dodged out of the way. I don't know why she curved instead of going straight. Probably because I was locked on instead of... I mean, I don't know. This is just stupid. This whole challenge is just stupid. Putting a healer in a damage race is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Somebody and stay on them. Holy shit. Every little bit help. Go on. Here he comes. Maybe this will do the trick. Oh hell, he's got a freaking man award. Oh no! I oh shit! Oh shit! I thought- Oh my god! Oh we got- Holy- Holy shit! Um! Yeah! Oh! Us! Uh, oh! Jeez! Um! I- uh, I don't know! I don't know! I'm supposed to say something here! Um! I don't know! Read, read the text! Read the- I don't know! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Alright! Um! Holy shit! This- I- uh, I NEVER WANT TO DO THIS AGAIN! Alright, so that's all of our... That's all of our hard modes, right? That's all of our hard modes? No. No, it's not. I still have to do Gears and Gambits. Alright, let's go do Gears and Gambits. Alright, so these are out in Cosmo Canyon. Uh, if I can remember where it's at. It's up here, right? Yep, there it is. Alright, here we go. In hard mode, deployment is restricted in different ways depending on the stage, and auto programming is not permitted. Conversely, there are more gambits and actions from which to choose, so outfit your robots with the most efficient combination to overcome the odds. Alright, so let's do a little bit of internetting. 
Alright, so what I read on the internet says we should probably use a loadout like this. Uh, for our portal skills in the bottom right, we're going to use the offensive loadout number 2. So use your L2, R2 to swap over there. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to use those. So we'll probably have to figure that out. But for our robots, um, our first robot, our blizzard robot, um, well, they all have kind of the same general layout. Um, your first slot is going to be your uh, big shot against the boss. Uh, why do I say it's against the boss? Because it says, um, so like for this is our, our blizzard robot, so it's got blizzaga shot with the condition that it will only use this after it has defeated one foe. So it won't come out and automatically Blizzaga shot something. It will come out, it will kill something with its other abilities, and then it will Blizzaga shot its next target, hopefully the boss. Uh, if something is airborne, it will gravity shot it to bring it down. So like after it's down, it'll use shock to blow it up. Uh, if it's something is weak to Blizzard, it will use Blizzard. Um, and then we'll just modify its cost uh, down by 20. And so like I said, they all kind of follow the same general pattern. For the fire one, it's got the Fliraga shot after it has killed um, one foe. Airborne uses missile instead of gravity shot for this one. Uh, elemental weakness priority. Um, once it's run out of stuff to do, it will use Hyper Lariat, which is a um, more powerful melee attack. And then we'll give it a, just some extra HP. And then our Thunder uh, uses, once again, Thundaga Shot, gravity to bring down airborne foes. Um, thunder Shot against those weak to Thunder. And Lariat for its melee. And then once again, just your general um, cost modification. So this is what we're going to be running with. Um, it says that when there's some enemies grouped up together is when we're going to want to use our portal skills. So we'll go ahead, give this a shot, see what happens. I don't know what number of robot restriction means, but this one is weak to fire, so we'll throw out some fire. Oh, we can only pl play three of each. So we'll come over here, drop a lightning bot. Okay, so we've killed that with fire shot, so now it should queue up a Firaga, I do believe. Yep, and there we go. Shooting a Firaga shot at the main boss. And then it'll go into uh, its last use of fire shot, and then it'll start using its Lariat. Our Thunderbot over on the other side is now using its Thundaga shot. Okay, so we've got a fire boy coming over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've got a blizzard boy over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because this thing died and so it used Viraga Shot. Uh oh, I don't have any more fire buddies. Well, let's see if we can't. Um, try using our comet here to finish him off. Alright! 
That seems to work, honestly. Alright, so we're just going to use the same loadout on this one. Um, the number of robots to deploy per type is limited, so prioritize all-purpose gambits and actions that work for many different situations. Sure, uh, we'll just run with this and see what happens. Oh, I can only have two of any one type out at a time. All right. So we're gonna drop a firebot there and a firebot here. Um, as soon as I can. There we go. here since we've got everybody kind of uh, all grouped up there together. Oh my god. I think if I had to do it over again, I would have done the uh, comment on the little group of things, too. Um, but I think we got there. Say it's best to use your portal skills on the uh, enemies the, the boss deploys rather than the boss himself. But if you can hit the boss in the AoE as well, you might as well. It's just extra damage. Time must pass before you can deploy new robots, so anticipate when you will need and divvy up roles accordingly to avoid putting too much emphasis on one. Um, so, yeah, okay. You just have to wait a couple seconds before you can drop another robot. Sure thing. period or another robot of that type? It looks like another robot of that type.
Alright, you got that, buddy. Also, you kinda got this too, don't you? I will go ahead and give you all one of those. Alright, so we've got a lot of things here in the middle, so we'll see if we can't hit them all with an Aeroga. Comet him here to finish him off. He looks pretty low. Alright, that was pretty easy as well. I mean, after the complete shit show of Cactuar Crush, this seems like a gimme. Um,. Once you've got the right loadout, I suppose. I mean, that's what it all comes down to is uh, fixing your loadout. And honestly, that's what the entire point of the game is, is uh, figuring out these different gambits and how to use them appropriately. And so just kind of looking online and getting a solution might be a little bit like cheating. But, I mean, hey, what's the internet for, right? Restriction. Um, I can't put an ice robot in this lane. I can't put an ice robot at all. So why can I still not put down an ice robot? I don't know, this this one isn't making much sense. Okay, so the boss is... Okay, so the boss is phase shifted to fire, so I can't drop fire robots. Um, holy shit, how do you get so much health back? He was almost dead. Oh! I should probably drop uh, a nice robot here, though. What is that thing?
Dang, that boss can regen HP, can't he? Alright, let's go ahead and make sure that uh, Comet will finish him off there. So yeah, um, just use that loadout. Piece of cake. And that was all I needed to max out my party level, too. So, we got all of our possible party XP. Um, so, yeah, you do have to do all the hard modes to get your party XP. Um, but, yeah, we made it up to 10. Awesome. Um, just, once again, uh, here is your uh, layout for Gears and Gambits. Um, so for your Blizzard bot, use Blizzaga Shot, uh, condition after they defeat a foe, Airborne Gravity Shot, uh, foe shock when AP is under 50, uh, weakness priority, use Blizzard Shot, self-modify, minus 20 cost. For your Fire bot, uh, use your Firaga Shot, uh, after you've defeated a foe. Uh, airborne, use Missile, Elemental Weakness, Fire Shot. Uh, your general attack is going to be Hyper hyper Lariat, just for your general foe attack. Your modifying cost, 150 HP. And your Thunderbot, you know, Foe, Thundaga Shot, after you've defeated a foe. Airborne, use Gravity Shot. Elemental Weakness to Thunder, use that. Thunder Shot. Uh, Foe, Lariat as your baseline attack once you burn out of everything else. And then your modify cost plus 300 HP plus 15 cost. And um, your portal skills, Aeroga, Comet, uh, the offensive loadout. And then, yeah, you can just run right through them, no problems. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Aerith not involved. We are good to go. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, it really helps push the channel out into the algorithm and helps it grow. Uh, also, please hit that subscribe button to be notified of any future installments in this series and any future series that I do. Uh, once again, I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.